moving to a new level. Where are we? So we've come in the lift. Here we are. There's another door. Fuel lines, and I found three sight charges attached inside. I checked the work logs, and only the droids have been in the area. I tried to contact security as soon as I found the explosives, but I can't seem to get the signal through. Blah de blah. Come on, pick something up. There we go. Components, parts. This wreck droid contains a special droid based item that, when equipped, allows droids to perform special attacks against opponents. This destroyed droid contains an iron blaster against droid opponents on energy shields. Okay, thank you. I'm not bothered about that right now. I'm bothered about getting out of here alive. So, can we move on? Let's solve this. Hangar bay. Hangar bay sub level. I don't think there's any way to uh, go f any further forward. I think we've probably picked something up that we need. Like the Sonic Mine, maybe? All these parts here? Ah, I think those parts are what we need to uh, repair the terminal. That's what I think. We'll soon find out. Bush? Where did you guys come from? Have they got shields on? I think they're forcing me to use my new toy. Right, okay, so uh, mining laser. That's not what I was after. Uh, here. Or well, maybe I can put it here. Iron striker. Yes, iron striker. That's it, we'll use that. Against these new improved droids that appear up here. Let's try it, shall we? That didn't seem to work. Shock. That didn't go very well. So much for the uh, iron striker. It was useless. Better repair myself. Okay, good stuff. Let's hope that this is the right thing. I think it must be. I can't think of anything else we need to do. Let's see if we can now repair. Ah! We're in! Hangar logs. Docking and takeoff procedures. Very good. Transfer some charts. Download. There we go. And a couple of logs. Right, contraband. A lot of cargo from the Jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo hold until we can pass it through the quarantine checks. And as requested, all the programming spikes the security officers wanted confiscated have been stored there as well to prevent further system compromises. The secure cargo hold should be safe enough. If anybody wants to break into it, they'd have to blow it open with explosives. Well, there's something worth bearing in mind. Who ordered the mining droids to repair that Jedi's freighter? I come in here off the work shift and three of them are repairing the port stabilizers? Did I miss something? Is somebody planning a trip? Because orders were that the hangar was to be locked down ever since that Jedi arrived. I don't know what maintenance is up to. But you can't just commission droids for repairs, especially with half the work shifts in medbay. 
Those droids are needed to repair the ventilation tunnels before gas builds up to terminal levels. It's not like that ship can go anywhere anyway. Even if it had the asteroid orbital drift charts, the Nava computer's been voice locked. You'd need the access code to get it spaceworthy. Considering this latest droid commission breach, I'm putting the droids in this section under the control of the current dock officer. If anyone sends commands to the mining droids outside this terminal, I'll be forced to enact full override. Ooh, get him, eh, Mr. High and Mighty. Right, <laughs> the last lock here, another computer lock. Looks like those droids got the vessel working again, even with all the damage it had taken. The maintenance officer still won't admit ordering them to fix it, though. Regardless, still no luck accessing the Navi computer. It's been voice locked. Maybe by one of the corpses we found on the ship, like the old woman. If so, that ship isn't going anywhere, unless we rip out the Navi computer and put in a new one. If we even had one to spare. The only reason someone would lock their Navi computer is to hide their astrogation charts. Someone didn't want us to know where that ship was going, or where it had been. Only smugglers do that. Or someone with something to hide. That Jedi's got a lot of questions to answer. Haven't I just? Right, uh, what are we gonna do now? So that's emergency control commands. Run down Gnostic and damaged systems. Fuel depot terminal. Subsystems rerouted. Success. Okay, that's good. Is that good? Check the status. Open blast auto hangar. 25. Open blast door to fuel depot. Conduit removed. What am I doing here? Access hangar bay layout. Access comm system. Hangar 25, main cargo hold. Security cargo room. It's my companion. The contamination area. Log out, right. <sighs> Lots of complicated stuff here. So I need to go to the uh, fuel depot. How do I get down there? Which, which, which? Uh, uh, let me take a I'll get my bearings here. What's this? Decontamination area. Maybe one of the doors have opened now. Maybe I've opened uh, some of these doors when I rerouted the power. I need some more spikes, guys. Damage! Oh, my friend! Never mind. Right, we have some more things. Uh, when I say my friend, I obviously played the prologue in the second playthrough I tried, which failed miserably. I didn't play the pl the prologue, sorry, on this playthrough, so uh, you didn't see this guy. But he was uh, he was in the prologue, helping me out to fix the Ebon Hawk. Kind of a shame that he's now dead. Computer spike, a pheromone package, plasteel cylinder, there's some more things in it. Alright. Have I got everything? I think so. Right. So that's that done. What's this door here? Ah, there's another door to the fuel depot sub level. I'm gonna use my extra, extra spike to see what I can do here. Okay, so access hangar bay layout. Well, that's gonna be a waste of getting any maps. Emergency controls, hangar logs, remote camera controls, comm systems. What do I need to do? Open blast door to hangar 25. Open blast door to fuel depot. 
Fuel depot first. Marvellous. Uh, and um, let's try again. Check status of subsystems. But there we go, open that door as well. So replace the original conduit, right, okay. So, uh, it's all too much here. So to open the hangar doors I need to do something with a conduit or something. Good job, T3. Making this look easy. Uh... Beep, 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 beep. Ah, up we go again. To a different part of the fuel depot. Ooh, look at this. I'm gonna base sub level. Oops. Containment field. Can we open these? What's all this here? Fuel access remote cameras, fuel line sensors. Man, there's so much stuff. Maintenance level. Droid maintenance area. And main control. Call up system log. Someone has sliced the fuel depot computers and created a phantom fuel leak, sealing off the area with force fields to contain the blast. Call up emergency system schematics. Open emergency hatch on project administration level. Yes! Seems as I've let out Shala! Oh! Oh, poor little guy. So, uh, how long have you been a Jedi? Must be tough, you know. No family, no husband. You're trying to chat me up. You're trying to anger me. You're just been an idiot. Hey, I wasn't trying. <laughs> hey, what do you know? Cargo cylinder came through. Hmm. Told you there'd be a simple way of doing this. Anyway. Let's keep trying to escape here. There may be more to do. I don't believe we're out of the trouble just yet. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Yes, I had him open the emergency hatch. The turbo lifts locked down manually, apparently. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? Uh, that explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Uh, maybe. <laughs> but who said I'm going down there? Get yourself going, mister! Me? You're the Jedi. If one of us has to go, then it's you. Guardians of peace and justice throughout the galaxy, last I heard. <sighs> the Jedi code doesn't apply to fallen Jedi. So don't make me any angrier, or there will only be one of us standing here. <laughs> There's no way I'm going down there. You might as well lock me up again if you freed me just to throw me into a nest of gun darks. <sighs> Forget it then, you coward. I'll find a way out of this mess and then leaving this rock to die. I'll take coward over stupid any day. I'll keep the comm link on just in case you need some help. Not that I'll come running, mind you. Oh dear. Yes. 
Trying to send somebody else to their demise rather than do it herself. Sounds about right. Okay, so it looks like we have to head down to the depths where there may be danger lurking. Just one last quick check of the old mission log. Apparently we can rescue T3M4. And of course, we still need to uh, recover the Ebonhawk and get the hell out of here. So still plenty left to do, but uh, we have come to the end of this of this first LP session of this game. So we'll join me next time, and we shall uh, see if we can get any further. Didn't you have some Jedi stuff to do? Actually, yes, I do love it, but I'm trying to finish my section here, okay? So just give me two minutes. <laughs> so yes, before we uh, do it next time, when we'll try to uh, escape this place. So uh, join me then. See you soon.